Come on, motherfucker, let's go! Three, two, one, come on! Big shoulders! Cheers boys, week 11 in the uh, push up, push up phase, yeah week 11, the last one we filmed with you was week 9, i have filmed week 10 so you would have updated where I am in modulating my estrogen, as you can see, looking a lot better, we're wearing socks and we don't have a huge amount, we're going to have a bit of water retention because I always will, especially if my estrogen is a little bit elevated, being on the testosterone etc, but that's being sorted, um, and I think with the next video I do, I'll be able to do an up stack update, maybe, or maybe the one after, just to let you know what we're going to do in helping modulate that shit. Anyway, 280 on the scales. I've managed it. The last video where I was, I was fighting for 280, it was beating me into submissions. That 278, 279, then I'm back down to 278. It was beating me into submissions. And I tell you what, I wasn't fucking having any of it, and we've done it. So. The next one, I'll have to, actually, I may have to film to prove myself so I can send it to you, Ben. But I might be elevated tomorrow because I have got a high day today. So I'm on a little bit more food, but you'll um, well, probably, probably see my cheat meal. Have you got cheat meal today, Ben, or not? No. No, he hasn't. Oh, so you're going to have to sit there and look at me eating cheat food. Oh, good. <laughs> We're going to love that. So, yeah, I've got a cheat meal today, which is going to be good. I've got a big push session. I think the last three videos have been push sessions, but... You can't beat a push session because everyone wants big chest, everyone wants big arms and big delts. You need to have those three. You've got that big upper, upper line like that, it's great. You need legs and you do need a back, but everyone loves it, right? And also I love it, it's one of my favorite days. And also it's a challenge for me because I'm overcoming the delt issue and I'm pretty much at my max where I was before. So you'll re realize that Ben, because it's, it's the same fucking workout that I've done. It keeps falling on it, <laughs> but you'll notice that I'm a lot stronger than I'm getting there, but there's this head game going on in myself where sometimes you have that little bit, and I reckon I'll get up there today and it'll be like this big, the self-doubt, and that sort of like lack of confidence. And then obviously I've got Lance giving me the beans, I've got Ben giving me the beans, and I'm like, you know what, fuck that off, off I'll go. So we'll end up fucking getting some good numbers today. And I'm really happy about it. See how I get on. I'm, I'm pretty hyperactive, but I'm some pre-workout. I don't know where else really to update with you guys because that's really it in terms of where we are. Nothing's really changed. Getting heavy, we're fighting for every pound and this is like the, the part where it's like the ground and pound finish. We've got a good amount of pushing, pushing to do, but it's gonna be graft. You know, you're gonna graft it for it. So I'll see you guys in the gym. We're getting massive. true fashion hitting cars before we do push why because I've got shit cars and it needs a lot of frequency and for me I'm a big fan of frequency if I can train a muscle pretty frequently and recover I'm gonna be able to grow it all right and obviously I take the piss out of my calves but they have come on a lot since maybe I need to get a photo of side by side maybe I'll put that in this video have you seen the improvements in my calves and literally that is just from Frequency, by increasing the frequency, making sure I can recover from what I'm doing. That's first or foremost, because if I don't recover, it means I ain't growing. We're not gonna get, you know, we're, we're literally just rubbing fucking sandpaper on a bloody hand. It's not repairing, okay? So if I can get away with the frequency, it means my total volume is a lot more on a month to month basis, which then allows me to be able to then have more total work, more total volume that's actual Beneficial, there we go, finally got there. But enough of the science, <laughs> let's get stuck into some movements. One thing with Cass and me is I need to train them hard. So if I do them at the start, I will make sure I put 100% effort. It's not going to affect my session, I do it on my leg days as well, and it hasn't affected me. I don't think so. What do you think, Ben? You think, you think my legs are getting uh, are shrinking? I don't think so. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to fucking smash it so. Do one more warm up and then we get after it. 
Seven. Get fucking squeezy. Come on. Hey! 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 Come on, fucking work. Again. Squeeze. Hey! One more. Hey! Fuck it out. Woo! Train to pass just as hard as you train any other body part. And it might just grow. Naughty, naughty. You teasing me, you naughty, naughty. <laughs> this is pre activation, getting primed for our chest presses, and also just putting blood into the tits. Oh, yeah, sexual. Not to failure, just blood in the tits. It definitely gives me more confidence in my pressing, having this all warm here, ready to go. You'll see I'll do some band work that I get taken the piss out of because he's about a thousand years old. And for some reason he's got bulletproof joints, saying that his knees are fucked, so he doesn't have bulletproof joints. And his shoulders wankered, but I don't know, maybe I'm a fucking a fairy, a millennial. Well, I'm not, I was born before the millennium, wasn't I? I was born in the 90s. Is, it, is that a Gen Z, is it? I don't know. Oh, fuck those. Fuck off. <laughs> fuck all that shit. I don't give a fuck. Look at me. I'm a fucking stallion. I'm an animal. Yeah? I'm 280. I'll eat your fucking kid's dinner. Fuck you, you prick. <laughs> if you, you see these? Like this. See this gym, they've got it on here because so many people use it. You pop it on here like this. Easy, light work. And you can start it. So, probably good to have some blocks. Save your joints. Unless you're fucking like... Then you're a superhero. Ready? Pull it, pull it, pull it. Right, right, three, two, one, go. Go. That felt so weird doing it with no supports. And the first time in like forever, I've had no supports. I felt naked. It's like... Getting out of the shower and the heat is not on and it's January. <laughs> Where are you, Ben? All right. He's playing, he's playing jokes with me. So, if you've noticed in a lot of my videos, we'll do a bit of pre activation work, injury prevention, get blood flow into the area, but nothing massively taxing. We're not doing any working sets. We're literally just getting warm, getting prepared to be able to do the shit that we need to do. That is important. So, for me, and I especially would say, if you're, as long as you're healthy in terms of joint health and muscle health, I would definitely bosh out some of your heavier presses first before you start, you know, using, doing a lot of accessory work, or should I say the fluff? So get the solid work done first, then get into your fluff, then get into your fluff work. That being said, look, this is the individual who's 100% healthy and potentially doesn't have a lot of mileage on their joints because this will change as you get older. I coach many older people where we have to change things because of joint health and things like that. But straight into the presses, and that's going to be a massive taxing exercise, a lot of output during this exercise, and also I want to make sure I can get the most out of it. Use them before you need them. Little rule of thumb of you. As soon as you start getting into some heavier weights and mm, maybe your joints aren't feeling like they used to, but it, you have no issues, a good fucking trigger to pull out the old supports. And whatever support you use will probably be the one that fits you best. I prefer this sort of material. You can, can get ones that are a little bit less, uh, what would you say, Ben? The right terminology would be? Compressive. Yeah, compressive. A little bit of a thinner material and things like that. And just find what you like. Make sure they're good reps, yeah? Nice and fucking strong. Okay, let's fucking go. Three, two, one, pull it. Yes. Oh. Yep. Come on. Again. Come on, three. Four. Come on, five. Six. Keep fucking pushing. Seven. And again. Come on. Eight. Eight. And another one. Push. 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 Yeah. Oh my god, that was heavy. Woo! Yes! 
I need to get that to like a solid 10 by myself. Then a force rep. And then we can go five plates. Then five plates will be on. See, secret top tip there. Watch this. You don't put the weights on like this. All right, you have to put them on with a bit of oomph. Testosterone just oozes out of that. And you're gonna unleash the anabolic power that's just gonna allow you to press through. And also everyone thinks you're a knob of the gym. The second set of this, just gonna fucking smash it. Just get after it. That's something we wanna do. That's what I like doing. I like getting in here and just fucking getting after it. Not overthinking up too much, don't get me wrong. Look, I know a lot of the reasons behind we do certain things and techniques, etc. But that element of just getting after it, it's, it's still well and truly there. And, and, I, and that's what I love doing. And that's what, uh, that's what gets my dick hard. <laughs> okay. Come on. Big arse and big tits, that's what we want. Three, two, one, 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 one. It's the hardest bit. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh. Fucking hell, I thought he was calling my name. Woo. That one blew my head off. <laughs> Last time I did filmed, I got, I got 21 reps on it, didn't I, with this weight? <laughs> I'm gonna go heavier today, that felt very good. Confidence. This is an exercise similar to the one that I did where I actually hurt myself. Now I'm here, but I just warmed up on what I did as a working set the other week for 21 reps. So here, now it's really about that sort of, get over yourself, Josh. You're fine, nothing's wrong. You've done so much warming up into this session. You're absolutely fine. Don't worry about it. What are you worrying about, you know? And then, so I just had a conversation with Lance, and he's, just in a minute ago, I was like, you want me to do 130 today, don't you? And he went, fuck yeah. Like, you, you pissed all over 120 last time, so it's just that, get over yourself. What would you say? Pull your tampon out, pull your, ta pull your tampon out, and get after it. Ah! Come on. I want big delts. It's all good. Okay. You ready, Lance? Fucking strong. Lance and fucking strong, come on. Focus, three, two, one, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Good. I don't know how many reps I've got, I blanked out. Six. Bit more confidence and I'll get eight. Come on, motherfucker, let's go. Press. Yep, 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 yep. Let's go. Oh, it's a beauty, one more. Let's go. Up. It's lovely. Just saying, that warm up set, just being able to do the sort of four warm ups. As we said, 20, 40, 50, and then one rep on the, on the 60. Just, I think these gave me that confidence boost that I needed. Just, you know, it's quite a lot of warming up, isn't it, if you think about it. Four warms, even though I had one rep, I was ready to go for it. It just made me feel pretty good, so. Yeah, overcoming fucking the lack of confidence after um, being a little bitch. <laughs> Simple as. <laughs> Pump is fucking ridiculous. Ah! I think the last video I filmed with you, but I said, mate, the pump's ridiculous. I haven't even taken insulin. Well, today, 
I've taken insulin. I'm on a high day. So 12 volume of Nova Rapid to get those carbs going around. And I think they're all in my front door. So fucking chest at the minute. It fucking hurts. trying to prevent myself from doing this. Like that, more. Usually my back, that really hurts. But keeping it as a fly, not trying to press to get into it. A very, very common, I see plenty of clients doing that as we get stronger, because we're so focused on progressive overload. I'm trying to progress our lifts, which is a fucking foundation to building muscle. Yes, we need to get stronger, but not the expense of turning a fly into a press, but keeping a fly. And also, that movement there, after I've done those chest exercises, oh my God. Does it look good on camera? Because I tell you what, it feels magnificent. It is fucking rock hard, man. That is ridiculous. Fucking hell. That is the pump from hell right now. Yeah! Shh! Oh, fucking hell, man. I don't know if I've said this before, but I'll say it again. Side delts as well. Start it, but when your hand's relaxed on the sides, you can see how fucking sh stumpy my limbs are right now. <laughs> but if I start, try and get the pulley in line with my hand here, which obviously you're gonna try and get it as near as two. If I, as soon as I get involved with this movement here, I'm straight onto my side delt. Bosh, straight onto my side. If you have it down here, it's not. So a little top tip, and it will blow your fucking, that cap down, it will blow it up. You'll be walking around like that all day. It's ridiculous. Uh. 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 Again. Oh my God. That feels like something wants to explode fucking inside of it. Tricep death. That's what that's called. One of the fucking blows you up. Tricep death. Gosh. Love it. Fuck me up. Okay. Oh, just better out of breath after that set. It blew me head off. But if I can get away with training my arms pretty frequently, I'm gonna fucking do it. You know, if they're getting stronger and I can recover, they're getting bigger, I'm gonna keep it up until I can't. And that's simply why I do it a bit of biceps today, even though I've got some bicep volume tomorrow because I'm getting stronger, they're getting bigger, <laughs> they're getting fuller, and they're improving. So fucking why not? You know, push your body. Simple as that, that's why I'm doing it. Right, here we go. We're gonna show you the pump. The lighting may not be the best. We'll blame the lighting, not because I'm a fat cunt. Oh, uh, oh, oh, we swear on this fucking, well, we, oh, he, he's fucked it already. We swear on here. Don't tell your mum. Ready? Oh my God, I feel very pumped in here in the arms. Look at this chest. Yeah, McDonald's for our treat meal. This is, uh, this is the key to growth. Well, it's not, but, oh, tremendous. Oh, hang on, Whoa! Fucking hell. Oh, she's gonna be throwing it all at me in a minute, Ben. This is because I've ordered my wife a fucking fillet of fish, <laughs> the bastard. It's fucking hell. They ain't got any ready. Hi, day. We have a treat meal. We have something that digests well. 
the novelty of it has kind of worn off, but I'm actually really excited today. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm excited, excited about this cheat meal today. I really like the sweet chili, uh, chili wrap. So I'm making sure that I've got stuff that digests well. It sits well in the gut. And uh, the secret to this is just get something that you can fucking get down. And I love McDonald's. There's definitely a load of shit in there, like hormones that aren't going to be there. That's definitely helping with the growth. But do you know what? Fuck knows what it's doing to the arteries. <laughs> Do you know what? All jokes aside, my LDL has always stayed in really good range, so we'll take that. I can get away with it, so I will. We've got a, a Coke Zero to wash it down because you have to have Coke Zero. I don't want to be getting my calories in with fucking fluids, do we? We want to keep it, uh, keep it good. When's the last time we had a full fat Coke? Five years. Six yeah, mate. Years? Fucking Long hell. That's the, a one-way trip to the dentist. That is because yeah. the dentist just—that's why they—they they make you know, they love. They see those fuckers and they go, "What do you? What did you have? Oh, I had a full fat Coke." They're like, "Ah, oh. oh. you need a filling." Right, that's it. And uh, you know, they start fucking forking out the forking out the money for it so they can fuck off. This is taking ages, this. Getting on your diet here and then blaming me. Because you know I'm Mr. Adherence. Alright. Bless Ben. Ben almost died if I sneeze in. Right, cheat meal, deluxe. Massive sweet tree chicken wrap. It's gotta be the uh, the fifty one, otherwise you're gonna make four times less gains. What's up with those chips? Chips. And a cheeseburger. Easy. So there we go. That is. Uh, I'm not going to throw it in because I'm not going to make it. That is the massive meal. That is going to allow me to grow and get bigger and uh, help facilitate the growth. How many times a week do we have a cheat meal? Well, at the minute, we're doing two high days a week, so I'll get two. For most people, I think just having one off-plan meal a week would be absolutely fine. And using it on a day where potentially you have your weaker body part. That being said, for the majority of you, are just going to be weak all over. Same as me. But something that you do feel maybe is lacking a little bit, you can use your cheat meal the day before, or you can go train it on the day, or the day of. That's what I recommend. Where, where would you stick it? Somewhere where it's not going to interfere for the rest of your meals. I'm having this post-workout. I can get it down pretty well and it digests well. And it's not going to fuck my other meals. But you may actually find yourself that this does cause a bit of digestive stress. Or if you're someone adventurous, you're still in that novelty of uh, that you've got quite a lot of cravings that you want to kill or something like that in your off-season. Um, potentially leaving it towards the end of the day where you've only got one more meal left or save it as your last meal so that you're, you know, your bloated stomach, you feel, oh, fucking that's sitting in the gut, that's a bit heavy. You've got nothing else to eat. It's a good time to be using it. And uh, last of all, when it comes to off-plan meals, fucking enjoy them. Because someday you're gonna be dieting and you won't get any. <laughs> so enjoy it. Just put salt on McDonald's chips. Salty, lovely. Oh, I think, oh yeah, that's banging. A bit of salt, a bit of sweet. That's a combo and a half. On that note, Ben, I'm gonna wrap this video up because you need to get massive, so does everyone else on this video. But at a minute, 280.8, nothing much changes, we're just doing the do, and it's about being consistent. Hope you enjoyed some of the PBs in the gym, hope you enjoyed the McDonald's, and if you got this far, put down what your favorite treat meal is below, and you're a, you're a real fucking G. Like, subscribe, and get massive.